So this is gonna be out and this is gonna be in, right? So yeah, we'll have to check. Basically, we're gonna let the oil or whatever it is, yeah, the crude oil go all the way through here. If it is the right temperature, um, we'll let it keep going back into the, yeah, we'll let it, we'll go, let it go all the way around, we'll come up here, we'll check it, that's what it is. Then this is going to be coming out. I'm talking backwards. Are they radiant ones and how does it work? No, they aren't radiant. Um, a lot of people do radiant. I actually choose not to, and I, I stack granite on granite. And basically, it's a really slow moving cooling loop because we don't want it to, uh, we don't ever want a shock in temperature. So the idea is, is like, once it's cold, it's basically always cold. It very rarely ever changes temperature. Lioneer, hey, thanks. Welcome, thank you for the follow. Yeah, we don't need them to re. Yeah, so basically, like once, it, basically, we want to make a 100% stable temperature room, and it'll and once it's at temperature, it almost never goes out to the cooling loop. Occasionally, it does because what we'll do is we're gonna lose heat um, or lose cooling by the water that's coming into the system in here. Um, so, like, that's actually coming into these hydroponic tiles. <laughs> Welcome, very much welcome. I appreciate the follow a lot. Um, I love the support, guys. You guys are great. So we're gonna, um, yeah, we'll set this all up and get it ready to go, basically. Maybe we'll do something similar to what we did down here with this crude oil thing. We'll have people haul some crude oil in and prime the system, basically. And... <laughs> I can hear it excellent. Yeah, <laughs> just wait till I have to build an ex espresso machine, and yeah, then then we'll be good. I do intentionally mispronounce that, um, and usually somebody calls me out when I'm talking about it on screen. <laughs> it's all because it's all because years ago, <laughs> Seb. <laughs> Scabra. Like, it's okay. Like, it's fine. Um, no, years ago I had... <laughs> I traveled... I traveled with a friend a couple years ago, and uh, he was really particular about that word. Uh, and then after a year of traveling with him, um, and intentionally mispronouncing it every time we went and got a cup of coffee, uh, it's, it's stuck. It's permanently stuck. I can't... I can't not say it that way. Is this Minecraft? Don't starve. Had a baby. Um, sure. <laughs> no, it's like a colony simulation. You got to keep everyone alive at all times. And you have to manage literally every aspect of the game. Um, not that we need the copper. We'll take it. Um, so this is basically... Yeah, you can ask something, 187, go for it. Basically, the idea is that uh, on this asteroid that we're on, yeah, I would consider this a colony survival. Um, it's like a twisted... I would put this on the same level as something like Surviving Mars or... RimWorld. It's actually, like, RimWorld's probably a closer comparison because you have to manage people and you have to build stuff, but RimWorld's more event-based and this is more... A lot of other managing of things so okay good our looks like our temporary oil solution is working and then i think i'm gonna take this apart i think this is enough this is enough to like do what we need to do for the metal refinery yeah let's take this out of here and we'll call this a day or actually you know what we'll do we'll just we'll just disable this that way if we need to turn it on for some reason and add a little bit more oil to the system we can I think, oh, I don't remember who it was. I was talking to, or listening to somebody talk about this game, I don't know, a year or so ago. And the way they talked about it was that it's RimWorld, but without all the events. So, you know, we don't have like a radiation fallout happening in the middle of RimWorld. <laughs> or random rogue vig vigilantes flying in from a another... Uh, like nearby zone or something like that and attacking us and attempting to kill us. Yedra! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Welcome everybody from Yeager's stream. I hope you had a really good stream. I really like that game you're playing, by the way. Um, I've been wanting to play it. I was watching somebody else play it earlier this week. Yeager, you're still alive. That's the good news. Um, yeah, I know. Okay, so I <laughs> I had to channel my inner Yeager today, and I was I was walking through walking through town, and then I saw this hat, and I was like, oh my god, yes, like perfect timing. So I, I had to I had to buy it. So we're channeling. We're, we have our Yeager thinking cap on, and I think we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, we have we have federal oil. We have oil in here. We made like a little like bridge thing in here and and drop some oil in. So the metal refinery does have oil now, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, I'm gonna butcher how I say this. Ko Kowaru. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Uh, but hey, thank you so much for the follow. I love the support and I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you're here. All right, yeah, so we have everything good. Good news is we got some atmosphere put in for some atmosphere docks for future. We've disabled it for right now. And we have Thimble Reed because I made it like a little mini Dreco farm and we got some Thimble Reeds out of it. So uh, that's super cool. So we can start not sending people into dangerous places soon without the proper attire. Oh yeah, and we found a sleep wheat farm, or a, a um, sorry, not sleep wheat farm, but we found a um, we found a cool slush geyser, and nine hundred more oil reservoirs. Like we found, we found a ton of them. But we have a cool slush geyser now, and that's pretty pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm already putting it to work. I'm trying to think like what else. We've stabilized the temperature in the base, and uh, I'm starting to like sweep all this like cold stuff out of the base and get it over into like a storage pit for a little while. Other than that, I think um, like I don't know. We've just been kind of like doing some maintenance and some housekeeping and getting some stuff like all prepped up and done. What are, what are these guys doing right now? Oh, we keep digging up slime and these boxes are just filling up with slime. Oh yeah, we got a great haul. So we made a, a really temporary one. We just kind of moved this wall out a little bit and got that going. So actually now that it's been a cycle or three. Oh, uh, JD Mater's welcome back. We can turn that off so Shadow Fox isn't doing decorating, but I'm curious, what is everybody's morale now? All right, morale's back in the positive for most people. Man, look at this. We can we can do some stuff now. Do we have anybody that's actually do dedicated a dedicated cook? We do. Okay, so FG squared with this grilling two hat. It is possible to post a link. Go ahead. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. So if we can like kind of skip the nonsense and put get this mini sleet weed farm set up. I think we're, we'll be fine. Um, we have unavailable storage water. Why? 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 Oh, right. I forgot we took that water pump or um, the bottle emptier out right here when we were trying to put in the great hall. We just need to throw this back in here real quick. Yeah, that's the other thing too. We're gonna need. I think our chef is slowly depleting this little water supply that we have right here. So, yeah, we can think about getting some water up there as well. How's the hot pumpkin progressing? I mean, it's pretty cold. I'm, uh, you know, it's pretty cold. Although this, is, the heat from this O2 is starting to creep in, which is kind of nice. And this part of the base over here is starting to really get toasty. Oh, geez, look at this. It's really warm now. We act. We forgot about it. 
and uh, that's just the way that's been. All right, we'll disable that because that's uh, that's a lot warmer than we want it to be right now. But hey, that'll help. We just like pumped a bunch of accidental heat in here. Otherwise, like things are good. All right, sweet. Um, have we built all the pipes in this system yet? We have. We've done most of them. Okay, we can definitely put in most of the insulated tile now. Uh, we are going to need to run power and some other things, but... Mm, okay, let's think about this for a second. We can definitely put in the auto supers for this now. And then that way it's more or less ready to go when somebody decides to hook it all up. And we'll, I think we can do something like this. Mm, which doesn't really matter, really. Uh, we'll go down, I guess, with the... Where did they need to reach? Is it the top or the bottom? Is it where the green is? Or, I, can, I never remember this. If I put it here, then I don't think the plant will grow. Do they grow two tiles high? Is there one on the map somewhere? Oh, sleepweed, oh, sleepweed. I'm gonna ruin all you guys because somebody was talking about Christmas songs. Where the green is? Okay. Somebody was talking about Christmas songs earlier today and it's ruined me. I just wanna let you know. So, now that you've been ruined by the idea of Christmas songs, sit and contemplate how that's going to affect your life now. Um, okay, uh, so how do we want to... It's too bad that we close this up. I guess we can take it back out and just run this down real quick, but we can definitely just... Eh, screw it. Oop. Not what we want we'll just run it over here for right now and then that way it's there everybody's happy and we'll when we figure out where we're gonna put all that stuff we'll, we'll people can hook it up so that should be everything that we need for this one two three done 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 we've got a nice solid mass uh, we'll get this stuff put in we also need to run in a little bit of power before we insulate this And that should be pretty much everything we need. Once that's put in, then we can put in all the insulated tiles that we need up here. Let's start going all the way up to the point where we need to do the plumbing. So we can start doing maybe up to here. Okay, cool. All right, great. This is nice, guys. Uh, let's sweep this out. Get this out of here, everybody. We still are missing liquid intakes for all of these. Um, since this is going to be a little bit warmer and we don't want this to leak out, let's go ahead and put in some insulated tile here. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, cool. I mean, that's pretty good. We just need to like do the plumbing over here on this side for whatever automation that we need to do. And then we should be more or less like pretty much set up so that way somebody can set up a cooling system for it. Uh, and this thing can just kind of like go along on its way when it's ready to go. Or in the event that this ends up back in my hands next week, we can, uh, we can wrap this up. I really want to get this ice out of here that keeps melting. <laughs> if listen, 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 guys, we already talked about this. We we already we already talked. Hold on, we already talked about this. Let's have a moment. My thing's off. I need to fix it. We already talked about this. We have four people here that are alive and we have one person 
that is not alive. I'm just pointing that out right now. So like it, it might happen. Anything can happen. All right. You never know. We don't know. We don't know who it is that's going to die, but it, it could happen. <laughs> no, did you see the little, <laughs> the people? <laughs> No, we're we're alive in game, but did you see the <laughs> the little graphic I made, Iedra? It's got like four people standing around a gravestone. <laughs> now Kit's alive. We have everyone's still alive. We've kept everyone alive. It was close though. We have, we've had a few people that were suffocating earlier. But we haven't killed anyone yet. <laughs> Fortunately. I like this. Alright, cool. I think on this note, like, I mean, we have, let's see here, we started at cycle 158. We have about 60 cycles left. We'll be able to get this Sleet Wheat project done. Yeah, Andrew, like, <laughs> your, um, your character is the digger, and we've had a few close calls down in the, um, the carbon dioxide area there. We have a large carbon dioxide run, so. So we have no sleepweed seeds. We do have one in storage. We'll have to be very careful with it to make sure that it doesn't spoil. And all this ice in here. Do we just not have nowhere to put this ice? Is that what's going on? And then this can be an airlock. I'm alive in the graphic. <laughs> oh, that's true, you are, yeah. <laughs> it happens in real life? No, I hope not. That'd be terrible. All right. Um, yeah, well, we'll just let them finish these these jobs real quick. Um, our storage system is going along. Hey, look, they almost have all the stuff sweeped out of here. This is nice. This is really warm right here. I guess that's fine. It's not going to hurt anybody. It, it must be nice, too, if we could, like, move this around. But, okay. Well, what should we do next? We uh, well, we should have plenty of time to finish the sleep weed stuff and get that ready to go. So we have like a little bit of a radiant cooling system. Uh, we can actually like we'll have to figure out the automation for this. All right, I need to think about this for a second. If uh, we want to kind of run this out the side, don't we? Build a better bathroom. We could. Uh, if we do though, everything's gonna freeze in the pipes. So we need to make sure that. We build it if we do in an environment that isn't going to freeze to death. So I'm gonna actually come over here and deconstruct these. We're gonna we're gonna use the space for some sensors and things. And then I think I think we'll be good to go. Do you shower? Yeah, in general. Uh, a little bit of heat does get added, I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, it adds 250 DTUs to the water. So it will look over time. We just need to make sure... I mean, it's not, it's above freezing. We could. We don't have a lot of space, so we'd, I'd have to, like, we'd have to really make some space here. Hey! Hold on a second. Wait. Wait a second. Do we have one of these? We do have an Arbor Acorn. Okay, we're gonna take this. And we're gonna take this and sweep this up and throw it in storage. I'm so interested in all these little like storage facilities that we have all over the place. I 
I'll make sure these guys are putting things where they belong. All right, good. All right, everything on the whole map is going to go in that pit. Okay. The seatbelt is missing the bomb lily seed you got at the end of playing last time. Okay. That's it. It is. Okay, that's fine. It's still here. So. All right, good. All of that stuff is out of here. I mean, shoot, guys. We can actually, like... What do we need to do here? Let's 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 start like moving things out of the middle here a little bit. We have a great hall. That's nice. It's great. Um, we have enough food to keep our six duplicates alive. Oh, Lionier, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Emma. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. And I don't know. I don't know how many points I need. I need. We'll have to like figure that out. Maybe, maybe we'll gift a few subs at the end here. Um, I need a few more points, and we can unlock some more remote slots. So, yay! Look at you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, and yeah, we can move some stuff out of here, and we can like start reshuffling a little bit of this stuff. What? How do? How should we go this? Um, to the left would be nice. If we like built out to the left here a little bit. Oh geez, thanks so much for the sub guys. That's awesome. You guys are the best. It's, are you subbing to me or are you subbing to Deidre thinking cap? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm a little indecisive right now. I'm sorry. I'm just curious. Could we could we possibly move these voles? This would be like really nice to expand out into. I liked um, Mojo's idea of expanding out in this area. We could like drop, we could like wrangle these guys and stick them somewhere else. Um, it's just, where do we want to put them? That's the thing if we do that. And we need to be careful that they don't spread through the whole world. And do we want them close to the base? Should we just stick them down here by these, um, <laughs> these Drekos? Okay, yeah, well, that's true. We do have metal tiles. As long as we make doors out of steel. Mm, do we have everything we need for to make steel doors? What are we missing? Just iron. Okay. Well, we can get this started. Let's get some. Let's just crank this thing up and let somebody go to town. We have plenty of resources at this moment, so we'll just like pre-make a bunch of stuff for people, and they can thank me later. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, Joe. We're like we're we're good. We have some plastic and we have some reed fibers getting made right now. It's pretty sweet. And that reminds me, let's come over here. We can, well, I guess, how many suits do we need? We need six? Make six out of iron? Why not? Actually here, we'll make two out of iron, two out of copper, and two out of aluminum. Maybe they look different. It'd be nice to have like suits that look different. Maybe the trim's like copper looking on the copper suits or something. I've never paid that close attention before, but that'd be pretty cool if it was. And since I really want to like unhook the power line to this thing, just so we're not sending power to it for no reason. All right, so let's move this thing. Um, where's a good place for this? I mean, it doesn't need to be permanent for the voles. We just need a place for them. Let's like, let's just stick them down here somewhere. Um, and I don't mind it. They're just like flipping around on a, on a loop-de-loop -loop like this. I'm totally okay with that. Is that big enough? 
One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just throw them right here. I think that's fine. There'll be a, a little bit more out of the way right there. Might as well make it permanent. Okay. Are we going to keep them here? That's the real question. Are we going to uh, stick them somewhere else? Because if we're going to keep them here... I haven't built a permanent vault farm this early in the game. And the ones that I've done, I've always done that like in space. I don't think it was a vol egg. I think this was a... Um, I temporarily threw a pip egg over here. Just to get try to keep the pip out of the middle of the base, and I think it's a pip egg that 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 hatched. Yeah, I think it's the pip egg. We we threw one over there just to get it out of the base. Um, we still have a pip running around on the inside of the base, but it is what it is. Oh no, you're totally fine, Yadra. Is there like another one in here that I don't see? Yeah, there must be. Shove, shove bowl. There we go. All right, let's get these guys out of here. Classic shadow. <laughs> All right, and then what do we want to build over here? That's the, that's the other thing. We could like start start putting in a bathroom, but we could start at least like clearing this out. We can just start strip mining this down and opening the space up. Grab some popcorn. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I did that wrong, guys. Somebody. Do this like now. I think I just lost him. Please wrangle. Go get him. Oh nope, the voles are gonna get loose. Doesn't say drowning. I think they're no they're gonna become untrust. Hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Mojo, you're our farmer. Please let's see if we can get you to ranch real quick too. I think I think they're gonna come untrust and they're going to um Yeah, I already set it to nine, yeah. The cycle's about to end. He's gonna go to sleep. So, is he gonna go up and get it? Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, storing 22 of 20, what? Need a door or something. I don't understand that. Um, like over here, just throw a door in real quick. Yeah, they're going to come untussed. Yep, there they go. Alright, well, we'll have to find him. 